So today we're at Piedmont Park for the Atlanta Jazz Festival. All right, and without further ado, let's get it started, all right? For months, we've been practicing um, for two hours every Saturday morning. Coming to the stage or on the stage now. There, I know there's going to be a lot of people here, and I think it's going to be really fun to play in front of so many people. It's the Rialto Jazz for Kids Jazz All-Stars. I am very excited. We've been practicing for a long time. I prepared, hopefully. Well, I'm quite nervous, and, but I'm excited too because my whole family will be watching. We're very excited. We, this is the concert of the year. This is like another way where it can be outgoing and spontaneous. They, they are the next generation of jazz. It's, it's wonderful to see, like I said, so much talent. It's inspirational to go in and see students at such a young age at such high proficiency. And it's a partnership program between the Rialto Center and uh, metro area middle schools. We um, visit each school once a month with a jazz quintet and we work with a select group of kids helping to train them. Each school, each band director nominates probably four or five kids out of their program and they come to Georgia State Saturday mornings for what we call the all-star group. Jazz music in particular gives these kids uh, an outlet, a creative outlet where they're able to express themselves uh, with music. And whether they end up being jazz musicians or not is really irre irrelevant. What's important is that we get them to understand and appreciate the art form. They get to be around um, instructors who do this professionally, so it's wonderful to see these kids really take it in and, and practice, and they're always really happy for some reason on a Saturday morning to be up um, practicing their instruments. It's awesome. The parents are a very, very important component, and we have amazing support, and the parents are just as excited as we are. It's a big um, time commitment to come out every weekend, but um, it's something that is uh, special that's beyond what's available in the school setting. And it really can have a major influence on them for their lifetime in terms of their interest in music and in jazz. It is not easy to get a 14-year-old boy out of bed on most mornings, but for Jazz for Kids he always gets up and then it's just been really great and they're excited afterwards and really uh, created a heightened interest in the music, definitely. But I've been playing with uh... We have to jazz for kids since I was in sixth grade, and uh, I plan on going to Georgia State. We're the youth, so we, we're the future. They, people depend on us, so they make you love it. Even though we're young and we're not supposed to love jazz, but they make us love it. And some of these kids have gone on to become, you know, professional musicians. Yeah, no, Rialto Jazz for Kids definitely has led me from education to work because Graduated high school last week, released an album last month, uh, which was number three on iTunes, by the way. <laughs> the opportunities for him have just opened up tremendously. I mean, he got a full scholarship to Berkeley, he got a scholarship to uh, the New School, but all of it was really launched by Rialto. It was a great experience to be um, in middle school age, to um, actually experience some uh, a jazz setting like that. I have to owe it to this, to Dr. Vernick and this program to, for bringing me to that, you know, so I could have something that pushed me. These kids are the future of jazz. They have an opportunity to see what it feels like to be a real live performing creative artist, and that's important. I feel being able to Play with Rialto has opened a lot of doors musically. I've grew up, grown closer to a lot of the people here and it's been a really fun experience. So man, I've learned a lot through um, this program. Uh, I started Jazz for Kids when I was in sixth grade and um, just they've really helped me grow musically throughout the years. There are many, many students who are extremely talented who deserve to be in this program and so it's very, very important that we all chip in and do our part to ensure that tomorrow's jazz looks just as bright as it does today.